Hello, welcome to another episode of Camp Fashion Journey. Spring is around the corner and in fact it's already here and today our topic is that we are talking about the pattern of gingham. So what happened is that foremost I like to start it out with a uh, looking at the uh, gingham tie and then also the uh, gingham pocket square and also you can talk about adding on a gingham lapel pin from recycled material. So this is a lovely outfit whereby I use gingham to accessorize it. And this outfit, I'm also using the gingham pattern to fully accessorize the outfit. Like besides the gingham tie and the uh, gingham lapel pin on the jacket and also the gingham pocket square, I'm also having a gingham braces to go with it. And it is neat. Now, the main thing when we ever we talk about gingham pattern is that all my friends, they always say that gingham is like a tablecloth. I don't blame them, but it is really majority all the cafes, you know, they always use the gingham pattern as their tablecloth, especially the red and white and also the blue and white. So what happened here I have is that I have four gingham patterns. So we start with the uh, mini gingham over here and then to the regular gingham and to the regular gingham which comes in pink and also I have it in the blooming mini gingham check which is in blue and white is my favorite because from a distance it just looks like a very fine pattern shirt or even like a plain color shirt and I have it in a French cuff so what happened is that let's open up my favorite Pandora box. In this Pandora box, I will keep all the accessories like you know, all the braided coupling balls and all the different type of couplings, you know, and also with the uh, lapel pin, the, the lapel flowers and everything. So for this outfit, let's see which one who go with it. Well, there's a no-brainer, an orange tie with the uh, orange braided balls will totally go with it but i felt that it is boring so let me see what we have is it this pattern no i oh i think this will be better this will be a better bag let's open it and uh, check it out yep this is the one because i love this particular braided balls to go with it in the sense that it has a dark blue and the light blue to to check back up with the uh, to pick up the color the stripes of the tie and it is nice on the other hand we can also go for this particular coupling which is my favorite oh it is in the orange so the orange coupling also will go well with it now we look at this purple and black gingham check and also it comes in a french cuff shirt so let's look at the uh, matching cuffling actually i like this because the cuffling the shirt the pattern the purple and the black is quite glaring so it's good to go with something much more simpler like this to go with it or I love one of this, a uh, Simon Carter, which is in pewter. You see, this pewter coupling in the sun also will go well with it. Or another one, which is the half moon. The half moon is also lovely. This is in a uh, silver and then that's why we have to uh, polish it from time to time. We move on to the uh, regular gingham. I love this particular one because this is in pink and white. It's a very powdery pink and white regular gingham. And then I love to go with this uh, tennis motif tie because spring is here and it is tennis time. It is lovely. And also for the regular Blue and white gingham, I love to wear this Fauna Seti tie, which is 
the designer of dreams. Fauna Seti is called the designer of dreams. And this is one of my favorite because it got all the summer drinks. So it will have the old fashioned, it will have the hot toddy. And then also they have the a, uh, Singapore sling everywhere. It's all printed on the tie. It is really lovely. And also you got the drink sidecar also with all the drinking recipe being printed on it. This is really one of my all time favorite tie to go with sports jacket and also to or to go with the blazer. It's excellent. Well, I hope you like this quick and simple episode of Cam Fashion Journey. Do smash the like button and smash the subscribe button. And I look forward to see you in the next episode of Kang Fashion Journey. Bye!